Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is May 15th, 2016, and we're in Bluffton in the beautiful Gated Lake community, Hampton Lake. And we're going to walk through this brand new Pulte home here in Hampton Lake at 26 Green Trail Court. It's the Wingate model. It has uh, 2,821 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It's listed with a two car garage, but it really is a three car garage by many definitions. I'll show you when we go inside what I mean. It's just a really large garage. <laughs> and we have covered first and second floor porches. We have a screen porch out back. It has a home office and a large second floor loft. This is quite a house. It's a very, much more of a traditional styled house than many of them that I show you in my videos. It's unique, I think, uh, in the area in many ways. We'll see what you think. We're gonna walk through it, see if it could be for you. Uh, for the one thing about it, which is at least a little bit different as we start to look around the neighborhood here is that all four of the bedrooms are upstairs. Now this home and these others are all listed with Hampton Lake Realty. And I'm showing them to you as a buyer's agent with 40 years of local Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. This street, Green Trail Court, is an enclave of 32 total home sites, all by the Pulte Corporation. They have uh, seven models. They uh, range in size from 2,400 to about 3,800 square feet. They have just 12 left to build. So in about one year's time, they've actually built out this uh, little enclave here, about 50%. They have about five spec homes coming out of the ground right now for ready occupancy. For those of you that can't wait to move into a home. Um, and these have a base price of three hundred and sixty to three hundred and ninety thousand dollars plus the lot premium five to twenty five thousand dollars so these homes ladies and gentlemen come in in the upper threes to the low to mid fours this is definitely an upscale community and it's a great one one of my favorites and one of my buyers favorites in the entire hilton head area well my name again richard kadish K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company is Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And of course, Hampton Lake is a gated community with outstanding recreational amenities and we can go over that at the end, I suppose. I'm eager to show you this house. This house has more of a traditional feel to it than most of the homes that uh, I um, get to see and that are built in the area. All the bedrooms are upstairs. We do have a hardy plank exterior. Hardy plank, of course, is on the best homes in the area. With It's the concrete fiberboard. Bugs don't eat it, it doesn't rot. Uh, it has a very clean look, very durable. We have first and second floor covered porches here in front. We'll go up on that second floor porch and look around the neighborhood. It's a beautiful view. We have vinyl clad windows, interior flat mullions. Our front door is recessed and out of the weather. This is a beautiful design, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful design. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. Let's get started. Well, we step into the foyer, and the first thing that we notice about this house, well, we notice several things. First is that everything is absolutely brand new, ready to go. We have a wood floor, which is a very light colored wood with a wide plank. And it takes us right through from the foyer into the living room. Our butler's pantry to the left there connects this formal dining room to the kitchen area, and our office is off to the right. Immediately to the left here, our formal dining area has the wainscoting with what is often called the cottage trim style. 
you'll notice this squared off, rather simple style is actually the premium style in this area. It's the low country, rural look. It has kind of an arts and crafts look to it. Squared off and simple. It doesn't have that milled classic look with all the little ridges that kind of busy up a lot of the uh, woodworking. Instead, it's a very clean, squared off look. Personally, I like it a lot. It is actually the premium look in this area. And we have it in the wainscoting all around this formal dining room at our entrance. There you get a little peek at that butler's pantry off here to this side that connects through to the breakfast, kitchen, and living room area. We'll come back to that and look at it again from the other side. Here's a look back towards our entrance. And then our home office is immediately to the side and to the front. The wood floor comes right on through here as well. Big windows bringing in lots of light. We have 10 foot high flat ceilings in all of the first floor. And the covered porch is beautiful, but it also gives some passive solar protection to this front room here. And of course, this street, Green Trail Court, is a cul-de-sac, so it's a very quiet, dead-in street. This is our home office, ladies and gentlemen. And before we proceed into the living room, we'll just take a quick look here to the powder room, or half bath off of the foyer with the pedestal sink and you have again the wood floor flows right on in there a little closet to the left a couple of closets on our way onto the living room which then stretches left and right across the back of the house with the fireplace stairway to the second floor to the right we have a trio of windows in the living room and additional windows going across to the kitchen, which is open to your dining area, your breakfast area, I guess I should say your informal breakfast area because we have a formal dining area. And this is the combination of traditional and modern that I was telling you about. Well, seeing is believing. What do you think? Beautiful modern kitchen at this end of things with the white cabinets, your stainless style hardware, your stone top, stainless appliances, your one piece um, sink, farm style sink, stainless style, swan neck faucet with the rinsing tool at the end and your window over your sink, which is the traditional place for it. Beautiful wooded lot, private wooded view, screen porch out back. We have a beautiful tiled, glass tiled splash behind our countertop. And here we have a propane range, propane range. Whirlpool is the brand. The stainless hood, ovens over here. You provide your own refrigerator, real nice pantry location right there in the corner. And a kitchen island separates off your kitchen from the place where a table is clearly intended to go below that light hanging here right in the foreground. That's where your table would go for your uh, informal meals. Of course, we all end up eating informally these days, so that's where we would take almost all of our meals. And then the rest of this beautiful room is for your, uh, is your living room, or what Pulte calls the gathering room. They call it a gathering room. Well, I'm always learning. Here's the pantry, or should I say butler's pantry, with the bank of cabinets and the stone top and brings us back into our dining area. You see it's a circular floor plan, ladies and gentlemen. It takes you around and back into the dining room to the front of the house. 
our office, our foyer. Let's go back through this butler's pantry a second time. It too has the tiled splash. And to our kitchen. Well, one of the interesting uh, surprises in this house in terms of the floor plan is this office area off to the side. Our laundry is upstairs, by the way, so we're talking here about a real bona fide little work area here next to the kitchen, clearly designed as a desk, and uh, it's ready for some serious work, you can tell. Out here in the garage, so you do enter the house through this area into the kitchen. You have a side door, automatic door opener. This is a finished garage. You can see that it's fully sheetrocked and um, painted and with the high baseboard, just like the interior cottage trim package inside. So this is a highly finished garage. This is what I was talking to you about. This is not just an extra space here at the back of the garage. This is an extra space the size of a I'll say to be safe, a medium-sized car. It looks like it'll fit a full-size car. Many of my buyers talk about having a hobby car or a fitness area, a workshop. Well, this is one of the largest spaces I've seen in any house that can be used for that sort of thing. The wash bin back here to the right and your water heater is out here in the garage. Those uh, wood panels or particle board panels, OSB panels there are actually your hurricane shutters and that's because our homes meet the Dade County hurricane standards here in Beaufort County. And they meet those standards by dual pane glass together with the hurricane shutters. So this is your oversized garage this house is on a concrete slab, ladies and gentlemen, so that means we have high ground. Floodplain C is optional flood insurance, and it means that you don't climb any steps entering the house. <clears throat> We're on grade. Well, let's go upstairs and see the second floor. I have to tell you, I like this house very much. Um, it's traditional and warm in its architecture, and yet it's also clearly very modern, has many of the modern features that so many of us want. And of course, the latest building materials, the highest insulation standards, and so forth. This is your second floor loft. Up the stairs we come. We have four bedrooms radiating away from this large loft area here, which would be a second floor Sitting room, living room, TV room. Well, you just have to use your imagination. The master bedroom is at an angle off of this second floor loft with this privacy hallway that takes us past the laundry area. And that little short door there is a uh, access into your attic for mechanical and also there's storage uh, back in there. So your laundry is here just off of your primary bedroom, tile floor. And as we proceed into the master bedroom, our first door on the right is a walk-in closet. This house has two walk-in closets in the master, one for him and one for her. And the second closet being here to the left. We'll just take a quick look at that. This one seems a little bigger than the other one, but they're both good sized. His and her walk-in closets. Your headboard, I'm sure, will go right here where my back is, so I'm filming away now from where your headboard would go. The entrance off to the right, your private bathroom to the left, and this pair of large windows to the left gives you the beautiful wooded view. And so many of you tell me that you want a private view. You like a private location. And many of you actually prefer the wooded views over the water views for that reason. 
This room does have a recessed ceiling with the curved cottage style crown molding up in there and it's already wired up for either a light fixture or a ceiling fan and of course I always recommend that you have a 52 inch ceiling fan in most every room both for your comfort and your economy. Well here's the private bathroom which is just fantastic. Uh, beautiful stone top, it looks like sile stone uh, with the uh, dual undermounted porcelain basins. You've got your brushed nickel faucets. You've got a tub and a shower, fixed wall mirror, beautiful wall lights. This is a beautiful bathroom. I, I love this floor. The uh, ceramic style in the rectangular shapes. Really, really, really nice. White cabinets again with the stainless hardware like we saw down in the kitchen. Really gives the room a beautiful clean and contemporary look. Again, juxtaposed with the traditional floor plan that we've been seeing. Here's your garden tub with the tile surround. We have a high window for light and privacy, although I don't think you need much privacy out there. And the tile shower goes all the way to the ceiling with the brushed metal enclosure looking very, very good. We have a shelf or a seat here to the left. And then behind this door is our water closet where your commode is located, as we see in the finest homes in the area. Beautiful bathroom. Very, um, very exciting uh, finishes in this house. This is not at all a boring house. This, is a, this has got sizzle to it. I like it. I like this house. So this is our master bedroom suite. This little entrance hallway is uh, certainly a, a very interesting touch to the architecture. Now we have three other bedrooms. Let's just start at the back of the house because we have here uh, this back left. Good size room. I'd say it's a good 12 by 14 or so. Walk-in closet here. All of these rooms have good sized closets. This room has uh, also the, the beautiful wooded view. Our third bedroom is over to the right rear of the house. And it too has a walk-in closet. Notice you have all panel doors. You have brushed metal lever handles. Let's just take a look at those. The doors are good quality. Everything is, seems to be upgraded in this house. And part of this uh, cottage style trim package again are the high baseboards, the high squared off baseboards. Well, do you like those? Let me know. I'd be happy to hear your opinion. Notice that the capitals Again, have the same pattern. It's a very clean look. Traditionally, I guess you could call it an arts and crafts look. Around this way, we call it the uh, cottage trim package, most of the builders do. Well, here's our second full bathroom. This is serving the other three bedrooms here on the second floor. Double vanity, stone top, undermount sinks, brushed nickel, faucets. Beautiful bathroom. And this one has the combination tub and shower with the tile surround. Definitely a new generation type of a tile product here on the walls. Beautiful light brown color, tan beige. Not exactly sure of the name for it. It's a light brown, ladies and gentlemen. Looks good. Looks very good. We have a tile floor in a soft earth tone sandy color. I like it. I like it. I like the design of this house. And then our fourth bedroom here to the front also has the walk-in closet immediately to the left. And then 
two windows here giving out onto the covered porch. Beautiful room. Let's go and see that porch. We'll take a quick look up and down the street and then we'll finish up. We have a beadboard ceiling here and below. Squared pillars, a rich look, beautiful railing, lots of detail in this house. Well done, Pulte. And we're down here at the cul-de-sac, and you get a look at some of the different styles. The one to the left there is called the Vanderbilt. That's another two-story home of their seven models. The other two are one-level homes, which is what the other models are. Those homes all have options for what are called second floor lofts that can make them considerably bigger than they are. A few of the lots available to you. We look down the street and we see some of these homes I was telling you about which are under construction, ready for move-in times in June, July, and August. Not everybody is has the luxury of sitting back and waiting for a home to be built. You need to move here now. You want to move here before next winter, before the snow comes. <laughs> I hear so many stories every winter about how people are just fed up with those northern winters and other things as well. Well, it's a great place to live here in Bluffton, South Carolina, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're in the epicenter of the low country. We're uh, uh, the economic epicenter, I guess I should say. We're just a half an hour's drive over to the beaches on Hilton Head Island. We're a half an hour to Savannah, Georgia. We are a half an hour to Beaufort, our county seat, and we are in Beaufort County, uh, the 11th fastest growing county in the United States by population. We were 12th last year. We continue to grow fast, and this is because Bluffton is a beautiful place to live. Hampton Lake, where we're located now, is one of the most beautiful communities in the entire area. And it's decidedly upscale, and at the same time, people who want the best don't necessarily want to pay a fortune for private golf. You don't want to pay the 12, 14, 16, thousand a year HOA fee. Here at Hampton Lake, the annual HOA fee is just $3,437. And what do you get for that? Well, just uh, a fantastic um, community with outstanding amenities. There's the beautiful large community pool with the Lazy River. The kids love it. You have a separate adult pool section uh, with the Wi-Fi uh, uh, pagodas. You have the, uh, the boathouse and the navigable lake where you can rent the different uh, types of uh, party type boats to go out. It's absolutely fantastic. You have tennis courts, hard true tennis courts. You have a state of the art fitness center. The buyers just love it here. Let's just take a quick look at the back. I'll give you my contact information and then we can fi uh, finish up. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And uh, my company, Go Gated Realty. And my cell number, 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Well, at gogated.com, you can search all MLS properties on your own at any time. But please give me a call. Send me an email. Let's get acquainted. Let's work together to find the home and community that's best for you. 
You may need something different than this, or perhaps we've hit the bullseye with this house. I'll be interested to hear from you about it. And you know, as a buyer's agent, it just doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side. And that's because I'm paid only at closing. If you buy and when you close by the commission that's already in the price of this house and any other listed home, including one that we would build possibly. So please, let's get acquainted. The commission your buyer, buyer's agent earns, ladies and gentlemen, it's the same, whether they are brand new and with limited experience or if they have 40 years of experience as I do, that's four zero. Now the longest that anyone has taken to buy since initiating a communication with me until recently has been 17 years. But the record is now in the process of being broken because a gentleman who said he uh, has been following me for 20 years called a month ago, said he was ready to buy, and he purchased a villa in the Forest Beach neighborhood, and we're closing next week. And I asked him why he decided to buy now. And he said, well, he hadn't really intended to buy this time down here, that it was just kind of an impulsive thing, and, and he went ahead, and so he called me, and, and we went and bought it. So the new record very soon will be 20 years, but please don't try and break that record, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, most of you can make up your minds faster than that, I'm sure. The point being, let's work together. Having a buyer's agent can be very helpful to you in uh, giving you information that you can trust, uh, helping you make decisions, helping you solve problems, giving you the confidence that you want to purchase and choose, navigate your way through this market uh, in the way that you want. So thank you for watching this video. I welcome your call, your email. If you like this video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube, and please subscribe. I've really enjoyed showing you this house today. I, I like it a lot more than I thought I would, frankly. Uh, $469,990, $469,990. It's the Wingate by Pulte here in Hampton Lake at 26 Green Trail Court. Thank you for watching. I look forward to hearing from you.